Hello, and how are you? Um, we're gonna do this video a little bit differently. We're gonna do it outside because I was having some lighting issues in my house, and I figured it at um, such a beautiful day that I'll just come outside and and uh, and knock it out for you guys. And you see my pup in the back, living the dream, just living the entire dream. So, what is meditation? Um, there are all kinds of different types of meditation, from sitting to walking to laying down to driving to um, just sitting in a park um, to being on an airplane. There are all types of different ways to meditate. One that I want to focus on is called mindfulness. Um, and basically, just rudimentary explanation, mindfulness is just basically being aware of your thoughts. And you'll be surprised how something so simple, just being aware of your thoughts, can actually be quite challenging, um, but also quite exhilarating and open up a whole new world of, of possibilities of things that you can do on your day to day. So the reason why this works, and I'll have to apologize to all of my neuroscientists out there because I'm not going to give an in-depth, you know, neuroscience course on why this works, but baseline, just basic, basic, basic. The reason why it works is because in our brains, we're hardwired for, um, to, for patterns, okay? And I say that because if you think a thought, like if I say, you know, hate going to work, Jesus Christ. Um, what that does in your brain is it actually creates a neural pathway. So it goes from here to here and it's, it's, it's there. And the more you think that, I hate going to work, I hate going to work, I hate going to work, the easier that that path or the the more ingrained that path is going to be. Um, that term is called neuroplasticity. And it's a scientific fact that we've known for, for decades now. Neuroplasticity is one of the hardest things to, to work with because it's one of the most challenging things to change. So through mindfulness, what it allows you to do is to notice those thoughts, I hate going to work, you know, and then take that and sneeze. <laughs> take those thoughts like I hate going to work and be able to notice that you're having those thoughts first thing secondly it also allows you to, a chance to change those thoughts before they before they happen so previously what you might have thought is man I hate going to work I have to go to work every single day I hate going there my boss is annoying I gotta stand outside and it's windy. Oh my gosh, it's the worst, I hate it. But after a couple of sessions of meditation, mindfulness and being aware of your thoughts and being aware of how your thoughts progress and more importantly being aware of, being aware of how your thoughts, um, how much control you actually have over your thoughts and how they can uh, then affect your world in the way that you see the world, it's, night and day so that same thought would be oh, I hate going to wait do I hate going to work I mean I'm sure it's not my favorite thing to do that's for sure but um, my boss is being kind of annoying but why is he being annoying am I doing everything that I can be doing to make sure that he's not annoying me I gotta stand outside but it's actually not that bad I could be stuck in a desk all day so really my challenge to you is to find a time throughout the day, five to 15 minutes to just meditate. And if you've never meditated before, you don't know how to do it. I mean, it's 2016, almost 2017. That's almost like not really an excuse anymore. So I would definitely say, you know, there are applications, there are YouTube videos, there are um, audio books, there are actual physical books. So the information is out there, but it's kind of up to you to take that first step. If we, you know, if you just wanna, if you automatically say, well, that's not, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna help me with, with what I'm doing, then okay, then that means that A, you really don't have a problem because if you did have a problem, then you would really wanna do everything in your power to change it. And I mean, if you can't take 15 minutes out of your day just to try something new, then that's kind of put back on you. Um, and it's weird because what you'll also find through mindfulness is that most of the things that happen in your life and the things that, the way that you create the world that you see, it's kind of all on you, man. It's like I said in my last video, it's, 
you create your own reality and whatever you think is what you're gonna get if you think that people are mean then people are gonna be mean if you think that your boss is on you then your boss is gonna be on you and it's it's the same with these types of things if you really want to get help and you really want to help yourself you have to help yourself you have to get help you're gonna have to try things that may be a little bit outside of your com uh, comfort zone at first but at the end of the day you know you take that first step taking that first step in trying something outside because if you always do what you've always done then you're always gonna get what you've always gotten got received I don't know the last word I'm sorry take the challenge okay I promise you you will not be disappointed it will it has the power to change your life and it's really simple it's free it's free hello and it's only five to fifteen minutes per day if you can even do that if you can only do it once a week do it once a week but I guarantee you that the things that you learn and I keep saying guarantee I know I sound like a salesman but I guarantee that the things that you learn will will impact you in every aspect of your day so I'm gonna leave it at that I will be back um, to talk about relationships in our next video um, relationships on how we communicate with others and how you communicate with yourself most importantly um, but Take the time to, to, to like the video and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel, to, feel, feel free hello, to leave them in the comments below. And um, I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.